Helsinki media with Simon Jordan. Simon, trying to get your initial reaction to that. Were you expecting anything like that to happen? No, I was expecting it to be a very tough and long fight. I was expecting it to be 12 rounds and one of them was going to nick it on points. I hoped it was going to be Liam. I didn't expect him to clean his clock. And I suppose because Eubank did either. But that was one conclusive finish. You know, the overriding reaction was wow. Everyone wants a rematch. Would you want to see that again? No because the rematch clause was built in there prim primarily for Chris Eubank's benefits and on the basis it might have been a slightly marginal decision. Anything marginal about that? No, but up until that moment, how did you score it? I thought it was difficult for Liam. I thought the first two rounds he seemed to find difficulty closing the gap. I thought the third round it looked like Chris Eubank was finding his range and beginning to look like he was going to tee off on uh, Liam. I didn't see the fourth round coming. I was slightly concerned. My motivations in this fight were pretty clear. I wanted Liam Smith to win. I admire Chris Eubank Jr. Well, no, I would sorry, prefer sorry, he does sorry, more sorry. talking in the ring than he does out of it. That notwithstanding, he took some heavy shots and he got up from them and tried to get back into it for 10 seconds. But ultimately, I think there is no reason, no reason for a rematch. I think if there's any elegance in a situation that doesn't, isn't all about money, which I understand, you know, I understand the value of money, there needs to be a step aside from the contractual position and let, let Liam go and fight for a world title and Chris Eubank can pick up some money, maybe fighting Conor Ben when Conor Ben's got himself into a better position than the one he's currently. People seem to be lapping you up with all the boxing talk. Could you see you getting more involved in boxing? Yes. Anything you could tell us? No. The last thing, in all the moments you've probably seen being shocked ringside, where does that rank? I think it's a pretty convincing victory. It surprised me because I didn't see it coming. Obviously, I've seen a lot of fights. I've been privileged to be around the world with some very, very significant fighters. I enjoyed that because I was slightly concerned about the atmosphere that Liam might have walked into, uh, given some of the comments. I think they were silly, and I think he's better than those comments. But the bottom line is, is that it was an outstanding finish. Um, it was an outstanding atmosphere for the bulk of the evening. I think Richard Riakpour uh, did a brilliant job as well. I was disappointed for Chris Congo. But bottom lining it, I think it was a very good night boxing and I think the ultimate sort of you know, cherry on the cake was a, was a compelling and outstanding win by Liam Smith. Mr Jordan, I really appreciate your two minutes. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure.